it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again for another little project on my birthday buddies without the buddies kind of mini series. So you may remember that I've been looking at this suite. I did a presentation on it at a recent team meeting uh, to try and let people see it as more than what it is. Uh, so to look at some of the elements and just, you know, take away the buddies. Um, so this is the card that I'm going to show you how to make. It's really quick, really simple. Uh, all I would say is I'm changing up the colours. So I'm using Lovely Lipstick and Pineapple Punch. These are two of the uh, ink colours that are going to be retiring in early June. The others are Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover and Grapefruit Grove. Blueberry Bushel is kind of the nearest or one of the nearest colours that we've got to this year's Pantone, which is that really crisp blue. Uh, the other one that we've got is Pacific Point, but I think this one is probably a little nearer. Anyway, do remember that these are going, so if you like them and if you would like to get them, I wouldn't hang around because as soon as it's announced that they're going, they're going to disappear, so due warning. Okay, so for this card, which I did actually stamp in the middle, which for me is kind of, you know, I'm trying to get there. Um, we will need the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. That I'm going to be using one of the Pineapple Punch ones to replace this gold glitter dot that I used. Um, these were uh, Grapefruit, no, Pineapple Punch and Grey Granite were the colours I used for this one, uh, just so you're aware. Um, so I'm going to use the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. These are in the soon-to-go retire uh, in colours. Piece of Whisper White, piece of Pineapple Punch, another piece of Whisper White, a scrap of Whisper White, and a scrap of Lovely Lipstick. And I'm using a Lovely Lipstick card base. This scrap is just going to be used for stamping and then die cutting. This is one of the stitched rectangles from the annual catalogue. They are amazing. If you don't have them, why? They're great. So, first thing I need to do is to stamp my candle, and I'm going to do that in lovely lipstick. And so the base of my candle is in lovely lipstick, like that. And I'm going to clean this quickly, just because, as you probably know, pinks and reds have a tendency to stain photopolymer stamps. It doesn't matter that they're stained, but to reduce the staining, you just want to um, clean them as quickly as you can. Um, I apologise if there are noises off. We've got Storm Dennis going over at the moment, so sorry, not much I can do about that. Uh, pineapple punch for the candle um, top, and I'm just going to ink that up and stamp. And you'll notice I am holding because holding means that there's more chance of the um, the ink transferring to the card. Right, so that just needs wheeling in my um, Ruscog cart with my die cutter on. I'm just going to run this through the die cutting machine and then I shall be back to show you how I have put the rest of the card together. It's not complicated, it's just there are a few little tips and tricks that I am going to share with you. So, just punch that through. So there is our little candle, and while I've got it there, I'm going to pop a dot, just loosen it. I like to loosen it with the pointy end of my take your pick and then Pick it up with the sticky end. And there we go. Right, now, if I bring back in the original, you'll see I've got two layers of card here. One of these is the same colour as this. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece out of the middle of my piece of card because nobody's going to know. 
So I happen to know that this piece here needs to be, in order to get this narrow piece round, two and a half by one and three sixteenths of an inch. Yes, I know. It's a silly size. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just cut a piece of card out that is quite a bit bigger than I need uh, because that way I can then cut it down. And as I say, nobody is going to know that there's a piece missing from the middle of the card except you and me. Now, while I'm doing this, do remember that I am on a goal to try and get 8,000... I'm going to ignore that phone call. It's for my husband. I've been taking phone calls for him all morning. Um, I'm just... I'm aiming for 8,000 YouTube subscribers, so if you feel like joining the my YouTube family, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to cut this down to two and a half inches by... One and three sixteenths. Yes, I know it's a silly number, but it's the right one. So, oops, actually I'm going to do it this side because I can do one and three sixteenths on this side. And that means I can hold my piece of card in place while I'm cutting it. Um, and it just means it's, it's less likely to squirm. And the other piece of card I need, which is in lovely lipstick, is one and five sixteenths. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five sixteenths by two and five eighths. So basically, we're adding an eighth to the, um, to the measurements, an eighth of an inch. Now, I will try and work these out in metric for you. The measurements will be the, on my website and they will be the same for North American cardstock as well. So don't worry about that. They will, you know, all fall in place. So as you can see, I can then layer those up and we've got a nice little border. Right. Adhesive. My adhesive of choice is the liquid adhesive. I just find it uh, gives me that little bit of wiggle room and a really good adhesion, particularly when we've got rain and everything's a little bit damp. So that's that, and then... So yes, if you wish to subscribe, you can do that just by clicking the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. There's a subscribe button there. Uh, if you want to see close-up photos and the measurements and all that good stuff, they will be on my website. And that is linked in the description bar immediately below this video. Um, so you can just click up, the, click open the description bar and you're good to go. So this is a piece of half sheet of A4 cardstock just creased in the middle. And all I need is my smaller of my two pieces of Whisper White. So that's that one. So I'm going to stick my larger piece down first and I've now got noises off which is my husband and one of our local tradesmen talking about putting a new loft ladder in in the garage you just couldn't make it up could you there's me thinking I can get some quiet recording done because there's nobody in their right mind would come out during Storm Dennis and I'm wrong right so let's pop some adhesive down here. I know that I only need a little margin, so I know that I'm safe to put the adhesive onto the background card. Pop that down, and then as ever, I like to press from the back. Don't need that for the moment. Then I just need to grab my stamp for the inside, and I'm going to go with the same one as before, which is... Oh, I forgot to block that up. Uh, I'm glad it's your birthday. I can tell you how wonderful you are. So it's a nice kind of fun little um, little thing to have. And I'm going to go with lovely lipstick again. So again, I'm going to have to clean my stamp reasonably quickly if I don't want it to stain. So I would be really interested in hearing from you. You can leave this in the description bar below this video. Uh, there's a comments area. 
um, which stamp sets do you think we could make cards with that are not what is expected? So like with the Bonanza Buddies, I'm doing them without the Buddies. Uh, which cards would, which stamp sets would you like me to see using that don't have, you know, that don't use the, um, the kind of obvious feature? So I'm using things that are in there but aren't, you know, I'm looking outside the box, if that makes sense. So I had a video back end of last week, for example, using just the Starburst, um, and that was basically the only thing I used. Uh, and that was, that was, oh, I've just realised I haven't brought my light in. Oh, oh, that's better. Um, so yes, I realised that that was quite a surprise for some people, that you could just look at things that aren't obvious. Um, but you can. It's one of the joys, I think, of, of stamping, is looking at stamps that aren't aren't used the way you are in, they were originally intended. Um, so let me know if you've got a set that you want to have a look at, you know, stretching a little, and I'll see what I can do. I hope that made sense. I feel as if I'm blethering a bit. Right. So, just pop this on, and then we are done in just about 11 or 12 minutes. Now, obviously, you could change these colours so that they are the green and blue, um, or maybe the lovely lipstick and the grapefruit grove. Um, but, yeah, change the colours and you get a completely different look. So, thank you very much indeed for watching. Sorry, I forgot about the lighting there for a moment. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And as I say, please subscribe if you don't already. And do remember, if you're in the UK, that I would love you to um, try out my customer service. And of course, if you're in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you could also join my team. And celebration is the best time to join because you get all the extras. I've had five people join me. Uh, so far this celebration because they want to make the most of the discounts they're going to get and all the early ordering they're going to get. So why not give it a try? Thank you very much indeed and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!